God knew and God knows that there are people existing in various valleys in life. God shows us mercy, he gives us wisdom, and he inspires us so that we can take those things, that mercy, wisdom, or grace, and we can bring it to those who need it in difficult times. God gives us this wonderful opportunity where we can be used by him to bring hope joy, perspective, or whatever it else that someone, or whatever else that someone might need at any given time. God strengthens us so that he, we can be used by Him to strengthen others. When my father passed away, when you think about if you've lost a loved one, you see this, uh, this dynamic begin to emerge in the mourning process, where um, at one moment I might be weak. And there will be other people around who suddenly have the strength to comfort me. And then I might see a sibling or my mother or whoever who would be weak at a moment. And God gives me the grace to be the strong one then and to help through that process. And I sometimes get asked by people why I always talk about being a part of a church and attending regularly, but more than that, really being involved in the life of the church. For one thing, it's because I completely disagree with the popular thinking that I can be a Christian by myself. It is impossible for me to be a Christian by myself because God uses many other people in my life to bring me closer to Him. I will sometimes hear people talk about how they can go into their backyard and experience God, and, and I agree that you can, but if that is your only experience with God, if your only experience with God is watching some talking head on a television, you're not experiencing God in the fullest measure. You cannot live the Christian life and grow as a Christian in isolation. A Christian cannot take a hold of, of all that God has placed before them and grow if they are not sharing these things with other people in Christian community. When Moses experienced God, was he by himself? Well, God was there. When Jesus, even though he was and is God, when he experienced God, was Jesus by himself? He set the example for us. No, he had three other people with him. When Elijah met with God on the mountain, one of God's messages to, to Elijah is, Elijah, you are not alone. You told me twice, I'm the only one left. Do you really think that you're the only one that I've placed all my hope in as a person? Do you think that God would do that? God reminds Elijah, no, I have plenty of other people. But you need to hear this message right now that you are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone.